these are some uh, relations for sections 2.2 .2 and 2.3 if you have any secants as of these figures the angle of that is formed by the two secants will equal to half the uh, arc in front of it so the angle BPA is equal to half the arc BA in any of these scenarios and uh, another rule is that if you have any circle and there is a polygon inside it the sum of the opposite angles will equal to 180 so B plus D is equal to 180 and A plus C is equal to 180 and this outside angle CDE is equal to this angle it's common sense because this plus this is equal to 180 and this plus this is equal to 180 so angle b will equal to this angle cde uh, and if you have two seconds intersecting inside a circle then angle one is equal to half this arc plus this arc so bd plus ac divided by two will give you angle one and if you have um, an angle that is formed outside the circle then angle one which is this one will equal to half the big arc minus the small arc divided by like half the big arc minus the small arc or the big arc minus the small arc divided by two so in any of these cases whether it is two secants and it's intersecting outside the circle all or one secant and one tangent or two tangents the angle this angle that is formed will equal to half the big arc minus the small arc and the last relation is that if you have any tangent and a secant or uh, in this case the secant is the diameter then this angle will equal to half the arc uh, that is forming by between the tangent and the secant so here this angle is 90 degrees which is equal to half bdc and here this angle which is 1 plus 2 is equal to half B E D C half this arc here this angle is equal to half this arc question 2.2 is a direct application to the formulas explained so question 1 he's giving you an equilateral triangle and what is he wants the value of the arc uh, X which is km so this is equilateral each angle will equal to 60 degree and the arc is equal the angle is equal to half the arc so the arc is equal to double the angle so 2 times 60 120 uh, part b he's giving you this triangle is isosceles and hl is equal to lm he wants the value of x type this angle is equal to half the arc opposite to it so the angle is 70 and the sum of the angles of the triangle is 180 minus 70 so that means that these two angles are 110 since it's isosceles so x is equal to this angle so this is also x so 110 divided by 2 will equal to uh, 55 so this angle is 55 and this angle also is 55 so the value of x is 55 question 2 is giving you this circle with two tangents and he wants the value of x I know that this arc is equal to 2x so this is 2x this arc is equal to 360 minus 2x which is the whole circle minus this small arc the angle outside the circle that is formed by two tangents 70 is equal to half the big arc 360 minus 2x plus minus sorry minus the small arc which is 2x so 2 times 70 is 140 is equal to 360 minus 4x i'll take the 4x to this side and 140 to that side so uh, 4x is equal to 360 minus 140 0 6 4 2 3 1 2 uh, divided by 4 so x is equal to 55 part b is giving you a circle what is the value of x so this angle is equal to half this arc and this angle is also equal to half this arc that means this angle and this angle are equal so 2x minus y is equal to 34 he wants the value of x but from this angle i know that y will equal to 2 times the angle so y is equal to 34 times 2 it will be 68 
So 2x minus 68 is equal to 34. So 2x is equal to, this will go plus 68. 8, 4, 12, 2 down, 1 up. Uh, 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 6 is 10. So 100, uh, 1, 0, 2. So 2x is equal to 1, 0, 2. x is equal to 1, 0, 2 divided by 2, which is 51 degree. Again, this angle is equal to half the arc. So y is double the angle. So I got y 68. And I know these two are equal because both of them is equal to half the same arc. So I know y 68. I can get x is 51. Question 3, given that S, G, and X, F are two chords intersecting at U, and he wants to prove that these two triangles are proportional. So, S, G, and X, F are two chords. This is given. This angle, S, U, F, and X, U, G are equal because they are vertical angles. These two angles are equal. So, the angle U, S, F, U, S, F, and U, X, G, are congruent these two angles are congruent because they are intersecting they oh, uh, they are both half the uh, segment f g so the triangles are congruent due to a a theorem i have a circle and since this is the diameter so this is a right angle triangle formed by two uh, secants and the diameter also the diameter is perpendicular to the tangent he's giving you that pq is a tangent so this is 90 degree since x plus this angle equals to 90 degree and the same angle plus 50 equal to 90 degree so x is equal to 50 uh, question 5 the external angle is 80 and he wants x so 80 is equal to half the big arc this this small arc is 2x this big arc is 360 minus 2x so half 360 minus 2x minus which is the big arc minus the small arc minus 2x so 2 times 80 is 160 equal to 360 minus 4x this will go to that side this is to this side so 4x is equal to 200 so x is equal to 50 again direct application this angle is equal to this angle since both are half this arc so i have 3x plus 10 is equal to 2x plus 30 this will go to that side minus 2x so 3x minus 2x is x 30 minus 10 is 20 so x is equal to 20 the same question these two angles are equal because they are equal to half uh, the same arc so x plus 55 equal to 3x plus 45 so this x, um, x will go to the other side minus 3x minus x is 2x 45 will go to that side 55 minus 45 is equal to 10 so x is equal to 10 divided by 2 5 in this figure he's telling you vw is uh, a diameter you know that this angle is 28 so the arc uh, opposite the angle will equal to 2 times 28 which is 56 half the circle is 180 so 180 is equal to x plus this arc 56 so x is equal to 180 minus 56 which is equal to 124 uh, in the figure below part a he wants the angle r s t type i have a polygon here and I have an external angle, so very simple. This angle OPT is equal to the opposite angle, which is this one RST. So RST is equal to 67. Why? Because RPT plus RST is equal to 180, and this one plus this one is equal to 180. So this angle, which is the external, is equal to this. So simply RST is equal to 67. Part B, he wants RSP. RSP. Type. Look at this triangle OPS. I know this angle 29 and I know this angle 67 plus 44. So the balance angle, which is PSO, this angle is 180 minus 29 minus 67 minus 44, which is equal to 40 degrees. So this angle only 
is equal to 40 degree the whole angle is 67 so this one is 67 minus 40 27 so rsp rsp is 27 let's see he wants the measurement of prt prt this angle type prt is equal to pst because these two angles is equal to half this arc i already got pst is equal to 40 i said this is 40 and this is 27 because both of them is 67 then prt is equal to this angle which is 40 degree uh, question 9 he's giving you that gm is a diameter and gk is parallel to nm first part he wants the angle z angle z is having the arc kl what is the other angle that is uh, that is sharing kl as an arc it's kgl so angle z is equal to this angle so equal to 19 so z is 19 second one he wants k type look at this triangle l g m this is the diameter so this angle is 90 degrees so i know that this is 72 this is 90 so this will be 90 minus 72 so angle x is 18. next part he wants w the angle x and angle w are common are having the same arc l m so x and w are equal so w is also equal to 18. last part he wants angle y this angle since nm and gk are parallel so angle y you see this is angle y is equal to this angle because this is parallel and this is parallel and this intersects so angle y is congruent or equal to this angle k g m so y is equal to 18 plus 19 7 3 37 uh, this is circle with center o so ca is a diameter and he's giving you bda 56 and he wants bac there is so so many ways to solve this uh, question so for example if you said that bda is 56 so the arc in front of it is 2 times 56 2 times 56 is 112 this is half circle so this whole circle is 180 180 minus 112 is 56 so this angle is equal to half the arc so 56 divided by 2 the angle is 34 in another way another solution you know that this angle and this angle are congruent equal because they share the same arc so this is 56 type i have this angle the hypotenuse is the diameter so this is a right angle so 56 plus this angle is equal to 90 degrees so 90 degree minus 56 is equal to 90 minus 56 is equal to uh, 10 minus 6 is 4 8 minus 5 is 3 34 so again you get the same answer so anyway you know the rules whatever easier for you to get the required you can do it Question 11, he's giving you angle AOB is 104 and he wants uh, ADB. In section 2.1, the, the angle that is formed by the two radiuses, it is equal to the arc. So I have this angle 104, so the arc ADB is equal to 104. And this arc... Ha shares the angle ACB so angle ACB angle C is equal to half this arc which is half times 104 so it is equal to 10 divided by 2 5 it's equal to 52 so this angle is equal to 52 and I have here uh, a polygon and this angle plus this angle is equal to 180 so angle D is equal to 180 minus 52 10 minus 2 is 8 this will become 7 7 minus 2 uh, minus 5 is 2 and 1 so angle d is 128 last question is their application these two angles are equal because they share the same arc so 6x is equal to 48 so x is equal to 8